Hi, Namaste. Welcome to the New Indian Express. This is Ramya Venna Kusala and today we have one of the prominent Hyderabad based hip hop band with us to share a glimpse of the journey and the performance at IMP. <laughs> Clock is ticking and Hyderabad is all set to experience a musical blast. So how do you feel participating at IMF? Well, we have been on board with IMP for a while. Right? Yeah, uh, so IMP has been a great uh, platform for all the indie bands, rappers. Especially and, uh, independent music, musicians like independent. It's all about independent music and uh, we as independent artists, we're um, always lucky to have IMP as a platform where we can come out, yeah. perform and uh, what's going to happen on 16th is going to be one of a kind. It's going to be very huge for all of us. But especially the indie scene and we are yeah, the Hyderabad Hyderabad yeah. We've been on board since the start. So so we know that you guys going to rock. Uh, but uh, can you just give us a sneak peek into your performance? Cool, we'll just do a little freestyle. Yeah. Show them how it's done. Here it goes. And the X come down on the 16th of March. Yo, I wake up and I break up, smoke pounds, smoke papers, my mind's like a saber, the perfect lock is to wait up, cause havoc when I'm on the way there, I flip like crimes, but I'm not prepared to days, bro. Yo, love thy neighbor, your front like papers, fuck all that haters, we bring out that flavor, E on the station, and we bring out the rhymes that are amazing to say in. Hey, wages, no man, I told you when I flip through stages, stage, well, you can be cut with your feel, man. You can't even know what I'm going to do, make it what we deal with, slapstick. Don't be like it, just a plastic. Do be no pressure, you probably go, it's just a magic. Well, you can't make it tragic. Don't be like it, you're going to see that black slap. Well, I'm like a spliff, do that shit ever since I was a little kid, I couldn't have a lift. Yo, this is how we do it, no desire, Indian Express, now I'm about to go take over you, yeah, so. Thank you, that's great. For any independent musician, uh, being in Spotlight is very important, but uh, journey is also equally important. So can you please uh, share us your journey, how it all started, your band back in 2019? Well, uh, we... Um, so, hip hop was kind of prevalent in the city. It started, uh, we, uh, we met in college, basically, in 2019. It is the same place. <laughs> this is good. I'm famous for getting out, putting out a lot of musicians, filmmakers, a lot of artists into the industry. We met on a street. I've, I've been rapping in the city of Hyderabad for like a really long time. Tiger used to stay in Riyadh. Wasim used to stay in Jatta. That's South, in Saudi Arabia. That's in Saudi Arabia. So, and uh, we met at college, Masim's beatboxing, we and I are rapping, and we slowly became a thing without even thinking about it, we just took it forward. We used to work with a lot of people, separately, individually, but we always had this one tribe that connected us. So we kept going and hardly made any music, we never consciously did it, we were just called as a group to stages. We used to go, tear them apart, and yeah. It was mostly in performing competitive arts, like, you know, where... You have to participate in mm. rap battles, participate in sh showcase battles. What, what uh, and my man's a MC phenomenon, MC in the in the city, every street show, every sort of like you know, very authentic hip hop, you know, uh, field battles or like uh, you know, any sort of uh, you know expression is there in the form of uh, in the hip hop culture, very culturally oriented stuff. 
my man's there and he also is very like much active in the indie scene mm-hmm. um the whole thing you know black diamond is like it's still forming it's still going to form to something that we still cannot imagine and we still feel like you know how we met 5 6 years back still feel the same energy and uh, the best part is because the scene hasn't grown grown to become a commercial thing from hyderabad still a budding scene so it's we are lucky in one way that you know we still have the chance that we can play a longer run and uh, yeah hopefully with impx and with all these people all all, all the artists from hyderabad you know collectively coming together that i guess that's how we are going to create magic national and uh, we are glad that we are being contributing to this since a while and yeah it's going great now yeah we are basically very culturally with the city <laughs> challenges are part of a journey so can you share any of the challenges that you have faced uh, which shaped your career I feel the only challenge we might face as artists is something every artist might face. Did we face before? Right? Or are you going to face? And the uh, things you learn. Okay. Right. I mean, yeah. Like every artist has this. Every artist goes through this where people don't understand art appreciation. People know art. Okay, they're like, this is art. What I see is art. But appreciating art is a completely different ball game. So I think a lot of artists suffer through that, but yeah, individually and from like a hip hop artist perspective, again, it might. I mean, yeah, for yeah. us, uh, facing problems was us transitioning from uh, live live artist to recording artist, because uh, it, the scene is very different from live scene and the recording scene. Because in the recording scene, you know, you have to give certain takes which are going to be on record. But li- like we Black Diamond, we are mostly known for you know shows, freestyles. and doing live i mean that's what hip hop culture was always about that we go out that people and audience just be with the audience all the time be free <laughs> yeah now we on stage off stage and that sometimes causes raises alarms among i mean do i don't so really understand completely completely understand the pop is becoming more like window shopping for listeners mm. they this coming with they want to they they want to listen they want to know but they don't want to exactly buy it and i guess that's one thing especially in hyderabad people need to change that one thing because the artists really trying their best to be original and to come out according to the culture and not just create some random reference and do something but yeah people should really come and exactly know what hip hop is about and rather knowing <coughs> Because what we are represent, we are not even representing ourselves here. We are representing a whole bag of art and this and that. So more, if you know us, so that that makes no sense. If you know the culture, and you can actually connect to us. Whatever we are saying, how how we say, the clothes that we wear, and everything that has to come from us comes from that culture. Yeah, so growing up, all of us had to like face some sort of, you know. People like poking at us, like, "Oh, what is that?" Why yes, are you wearing like, those t-shirts? <laughs> with the loose t-shirts. Are you wearing your dad's jeans? I'm like, "Chill, boy, that is the baggy style." And now everyone's wearing it. Yeah, and now it's that. become so. My company is not like black. So seeing the future on four side. Hip hop is a kind of self-expression, right? So uh, many musicians also incorporate folk music into their music and all. So do you also do something like that, which makes your band stand out of the crowd? Our, we are. What's unique about us is we are on the fly. We do it naturally on the go, wherever it is. I mean, us collaborating with folk musicians, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it it is one of the things. I mean, we are incorporating Indian, uh, Indian styles of music, Indian originated music, and mixing it with hip hop. So on a global level, like we are planning for that. us as folk musicians because we are like hip hop so what we can do is self expression as you said so we three are from the city and we have an urban outlook towards our music but folk music is something which we can always you know that we are mix you know because bachpan se we have been only listening to indian music folk music so our roots actually come from indian classical music whether it be hindustani or carnatic the rhythm that we follow completely comes from 
Bollywood movies, Bollywood songs and Telugu songs, yeah. and all those musicians from here. But um, maybe right lyrics, the topics we pick. Also, of course, our geography plays a huge role. What's happening in our country plays a huge role. All these coming together, packaging it in a certain way that is very digestible in various you know, backgrounds, or whatever, which can be consumed by like masses. Masses. Yeah. You have twenty plus uh, compositions or songs, music tracks in your uh, portfolio, right? So when you create a new music uh, track or compositions, uh, where do you source uh, the inspiration from? From the legends, from our, like I said, from our job, from our geography. That is from our very <laughs> a formal answer. <laughs> we yeah, we have inspiration. I don't know whether we are motivated to write a new song. But we are definitely in the zone, and we always try to find a zone to write something or to be in, in any sort of a thing. That zone is their motivation. This directly comes in, and because as freestylers, these people they don't even have to sit and be like Kalikumai because they are so connected with everything at once. So if they are in the zone and everything is in the zone in the room, yeah, it takes us coming together. And creating it since our lives already played a huge role in what we want to create, and we just come come together and create. Music. I mean, it's a two 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 way process. I mean, sometimes you have the writer, I mean, the rappers, us <coughs> writing our own piece, thinking about our own self, and then going, you know, going and like showing it to the producer and saying, "Ki I want to write on like this, like I want to write like this. Ye likhna hai, mujhe ispe likhna hai." But sometimes it's the beat maker who sends the beat, and then you understand the tone of it. You understand like how it's gonna be, what type of uh, Rhymes you can put on it, what type of bars? Like sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. So it depends. Like it goes to ways, both ways. Yeah. Are there any particular group or artists uh, who inspires you or influences you? I mean, we all have our own like inspirations, as three combined. But yeah, I mean, like what's your inspirations? Do give me your top three. Like, top three, top three, my, top three. Top three. <laughs> I don't know. You guys. Okay, let's mm-hmm. start. Let's go. Top three Black Thought. You guys know that for sure. Both of them. Black Thought, Denzel Curry, and uh, of course I'm just talking about the hip hop industry right now. Only. And um, so hard. To put. Let's say K R S one. K R S one. Contemporaries and uh, one OG legend. We can't compare. They are not my my top three. Like they are equal for me. All these. I mean, they paid new way for me. Like I mean. Mine is like definitely like DMX. We can say Tupac yeah, nice. and like Kanye West. I mean, it's not like hip hop culture. What we try to represent is not just about music. It's about the lifestyle. It's about what we wear. It's fashion. It's you know movies. It's like there's an aura to to it. It's like, ever evolving. It's still the most popular, most listened to music out there. It's constantly evolving. Let it be the trap wave. It's going to become something else. I mean, it's and constantly evolving. Like any other industry, any other sound. Oh my. I got. Um, I really love Doctor Dre. Yeah. Because um, I mean, what? <clears throat> it's something that you know. Even if someone who has never listened to hip hop knows Doctor Dre's song, and that is super weird and intelligent at the same time. And uh, I really, um, I really love our group, Black Diamond. <laughs> Black Diamond. Black Diamond. Hanuman State of there. And <laughs> couple of people from here. I I really I have a lot of people internationally that I love. A R Rahman is someone who I really take inspiration oh. from. But oh. um, yeah, I really don't want to put names and be like it. Yeah, me too. Not at all. I mean, reflects in our music, reflects in our writing, it reflects in our sound. Yes, our videos. <laughs> Uh, you started your band back in 2019, right? So, can you share any memorable moments or experiences from your previous performances? We had our privilege to open for quite the big names from around the country. Those are some great experiences, and beyond all of that, we 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 gather inspiration from the small things, whatever teach us, like you know, making our own music video, running around, trying to do our own thing. And uh, trying to you know create a scene by ourselves in this city that we want hip hop to thrive and also we also want to thrive in the process. I'm sure there's a there are like so many other competitions we had done and stuff like that. I mean the first ever uh, time when I guess three of us it clicked in our head that okay I mean 
we should be not just friends and we should actually help each other and start working with you i guess that feeling when that clicked all three of us from that on now it's like kitna bhi lad lo kar lo wo it never goes away so i guess i was very special after that everything is coming on its way some some shows actually there were um, two two or three gigs that we opened up for uh, other people from delhi big names big uh, names season of and mercy stan and one guy i mean technically it, it wasn't a, a big deal but for us cuz those guys are representing india in a national national and, and he being the openness for those people it's it gives that uh, whole feeling i mean we had to represent our city like i feel so good that we we three like you know we get to represent our city through like uh, through these platforms which we are getting and uh, you know showing what has our rest of for you know the rest of the india and the other artists and it's also a, a thing where once we started a thing it became a thing about community forming and people joining it, building an army of artists and somehow even if they're not with us they sh- they shouldn't feel like they are not part of our team or they are not with them that's one thing hip hop always taught us and uh, those are the special moments is being around doing cycles yeah. all over the city i mean changing you know how people come See up how we inspire yeah other people how we inspire and we want to pursue this ask us hey how was your journey been like the way you are and you know getting inspiration or you know learning lessons or like exchange information and knowledge and taking it forward yeah so you know the musicians create some hundreds of songs or compositions there will be that one song which uh, gets them fame or you know uh, gives break to their career so do you have uh, any uh, that sort of songs in your uh, journey we don't have one we are <laughs> <laughs> all of our compositions are that great <laughs> the only thing with those compositions are we haven't uh, released it properly out on all platforms you can find them somewhere here or there or it's just not out completely from our end package uh, right we distributed in our own like uh, like i said we black diamond like you know our group we are transitioning from live scene to the recording scene so just you know we can package it and like get an album like so yeah with that whole point our whatever we perform people knew because they were all the time witnessing it live and not back at home or just listening to it on so somehow whatever songs we perform was exciting for the crowd for us mm. i mean the only way the audience can like you know react to our songs if there is a factor of relatability where you know you can relate to what i sing what we rap about it if you relate and if the masses relate i mean that will be a hit song like you can say hit yeah. it something like that so that depends on the composition so it happens on stage it uh, doesn't translate into our plays and stuff like that because our music hasn't been out as such we talk is pretty, pretty much it's, you can just you can just call us home work or like we're still building our plays until we drop our music and it spreads for can you sing any of your favorite uh, compositions uh, for our audience yo we like the back live yo it didn't express i hope that wasn't to any stress favorites come down to i the x 16th of march Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will check it. We bring another bang. Let the sad and worried have to money on the power because we close another chapter. No fuck, cause we mad at all. Black, black, brown, and in your face, killing the million feet on the stage. Check the rap, double E, mad killer, be quick. I've been never as you end up. You make it take off. This is the jungle of the BBC. We come with peace, so that I recognize as we close. So cool. Watch us on the loose, deadly bomb. Drop it like it's hot, so we roll it every hour. Man, if you gotta lust on the side, I don't matter who you are, but we coming at you. Bombs like the B-roll, Tiger Tyrants, we know. Man, it's the vibe, but we live it good. B-roll, 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 B-roll,
platform world boom come a trap you get out get the strap honey got a bit so you chill it in your mouth i attack through the gap still the rats we don't get got a hit of operation with a straight facts you can see the lights paper the lights paper cool to your wrist or your wrist in the state of the town for the bina koi le clock ka me ke or your bio pic fever let you let me to the mujhe cash to chill let me to the mujhe cash to type it and give me mujhe phone me to text to kuch bhi wali plan zara market best they all wake up and i wake up small pants no bigger as a man like a saber the profit drop is straight on straight on false have a plan i'm on the way now you flip like lines but i live for better days bro same bro Yo, so I'm dying late for your front like fakers That's all that haters We bring out that flavor Be on the station and we bring out the rhymes They were amazing, just saying and grave This script is one of the greatest We live for the truth while you're left for parades Walking deck with Hades, had it on top of Satan The underground scene seems forsaken It's tainted, the rage is You're my thoughts, never anxious My thoughts, thoughts, I'm a way to some blood space Can we compare to what we say This guy make a move that play But it's so sweet, man, I wreck pain So that I might throw it out, so that I might throw it out And it might play me loud, it might throw it out Man, I know it's such a doll, but I know it's such a doll It's the BDC, you bring the underground sound So that I might throw it out, so that I might throw it out Let me chase down and don't let it sit in your eyes So that I might throw it out, so that I might throw it out If you had a body, you'd be the car of the law That is what's up, in an express I find that keep rolling, the flag of the day That will be, and be the Black Diamond Crew BDC Can you also shed light on your future projects? Uh, what are you planning uh, for your fans? Um, we have a music video coming out yeah. By the Black Diamond Crew, two music videos One is called The Greatness Part 1 Greatness Part One and Banga Aru Bumba. Uh, it's uh, that's also for that video. It's uh, MC Hari. MC Hari, where the mom she shout out to Partha. Shout out to the whole Black Dam family. family. Yeah. We got uh, shout out to Partha Ho, Sarabu, MC Hari, Young Mina, Young Mina, Mitun, Mitun, Harsha Kamit, Harsha Kamit, Shumi, yes, all sir. these people. You know how it works. So all of us coming together, we have a lot of releases planned this year. I hope so we meet again. This man is coming with his uh, EP. Mixtape. It's called the Hug Hug Mixtape. The Hug Mixtape, and it's going to be fabulous. All the genres, you guys want to listen to identity guys. <laughs> a lot more coming. That's a surprise. But that's both of us. Yes, but these are our official releases. So I'm coming out. Any message for your fans are waiting for your performance at uh, IMP? <laughs> no message, you guys know how it goes, man. No, it goes down. Just keep Love coming us. to our shows. And <laughs> <laughs> keep um, supporting us. Keep, keep believing in us. And, and we will give you guys back a message. <laughs> and share, share our music to your friends. Because if you are our student, then we will. And that means you probably have the right part. Yes. Thank you so much for your time, uh, also your valuable inputs. Uh, this is Ramya signing off. Uh, we'll be back with another band soon. Thank you. <laughs>